my father was a, I was get, he was getting his master's degree in chemistry at Columbia, and he died when I was two. And then my mom was a single parent raising an only child in the 60s and the 70s, and she was a frustrated painter and musician. You know, she wanted to be a painter, she wanted to be a musician, but she had to do sort of menial labor just to pay the rent. And she was also, like all of her friends went off and became hippies. And so I think she felt, she was, she was a little bummed out that she couldn't go, go move to San Francisco and join the hippie revolution. So, yeah, she was a, a frustrated artist, basically. One of the things I'm most grateful for is that I did grow up in a creative family. You know, my mom, even though she did menial labor, was, you know, she was a great painter and a really great musician. My uncle was a photographer, my other uncle is a sculptor, both my aunts are writers. My great-grandmother taught classical composition. My grand other grandmother was a, a watercolor painter. So everyone in my family had some sort of creative outlet. And so it was just assumed that I would do something creative. Like I really think that my mother and the people in my family would have been very disappointed if I had decided to become a bond trader. You know, so if anything, even though I grew up in a very conservative suburban environment, I was always encouraged to do creative things. Mm -hmm.